Alright guys, King DK, King DK, King DK, Multi 94 is back with another episode of the full playthrough of Disco Elysium, the final cut. So, without further ado, let me change the camera real quick. Hell yeah. And let's drop some action. Let's go, yeah. Let's continue our investigation. Let's go. Zayum, right? Or how the hell is pronounced? Wow. So, yeah, let's load the game. Let's see where we were. Oh, yeah. I broke my fucking pry bar and I get angry and I said fuck this and I close the fucking gameplay. Yeah, it was long enough. But come on. Fucking the pry bar. I hate the fact that the pry bar is gone. So now what? Now I can go from here and try to open that. Oh, come on, without a pry bar. Or I can go you know what, let's go from here now. Then we see what we're gonna do. Let me see from the back, there's something. There's a ladder up there, but I, I guess I can't go up there. Hell no. There's nothing else here, so... This is pretty... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's... Ooh, there's something else here. What is this? Three rusty gears used to turn the whole machine. Hmm. The building before you know how housed an engine. Must have been a big one. Absolutely. Look at the chains. The chain trailed off into the ocean. To who knows where. Hmm. Maybe we can um, take take something from the ocean. And we can bring it back like uh, yeah. Before we go inside there, by the way, because it seems like I, I can interact, maybe I can go inside, let me... Oh, these are the traps, right? Oh, this is one of the traps, let's do this, now! Perfect! There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. That's the first Looks trap. Like the same one you saw Morel set before. Absolutely. Same mesh, same wiring. So, look around first. The reeds shake sadly in the coastal breeze. Snow specks the stalks. Most of it melts quickly. The reeds seem to be waiting for something. All right. The wind picks up here, near the cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. So reach for the trap. Locusts are crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You okay. see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. Okay. Big surprise. Anyway, <laughs> one down, three to go. Nice. So, damn, I was hoping it would be, uh, it would be in the first one. No, you weren't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I weren't. If you say so, I was hoping, but yeah, we're gonna find that crypto shit. I don't know. What is this? Cigarettes butts clean away on the rock. Brand T O. Tiomo dear come on the fucking you take a mental note Tiomo Tiri seems important somehow alright ooh look at this place someone's made a campfire here a long time ago don't tell me that was me I asked the broken control box for the radio relay tower okay this ladder is too rusty to climb the CIA has here and away okay that is important to me to climb? I don't think so. What is this? What's that? You didn't see nothing. What's the problem with that? Maybe it was a, um, a lodge that was destroyed by the sea. I don't know. Let me see this. What is that? Scented scarf? Ooh! Plus, two, plus one shivers. Minus two physical instruments. Uh, that's whack if you ask me. Now I have the Papillon that gives me plus two drama and no drawbacks, so fuck this shit. But yeah, this is cool, okay? Let me see how it goes, just to see, you know, it's cool to watch. But yeah, who gives a fuck? This is better. Absolutely. So yeah. Let me take this jacket here. Can I? Come on. Game. Yeah, let me change. I don't want to be the... So, uh, what is that? Let me read that. So, this light springtime 
Scarf smells like men's cologne mixed with cheap laundry detergent. Someone must have left it behind, probably from a date. Wait, wait, you, wait, wait if you want to delude yourself that spring has arrived. Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to wear that shit. So inspect the traps. And we did one, apparently. There's more to do, absolutely. But yeah, at least we have we have did one. We did one. And that was uh, in a place pretty far, if you ask me. And not only pretty far, but pretty alone. What is that? Can I click maybe on that? This feels... This rock here in the water is different from the others. But I guess it's nothing. So, yeah, let's go inside uh, the engine uh, thing, if I can. By the way, I hate the fact that my pry bar is gone. I have something, something, uh, I have so much to do still. Worn by elements, guards Whoa. the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The, the door fuck? hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. Why the fuck this is? It says impossible. Okay. And it, it's a red check. So we don't have to fuck this up. No. Until we get more, you know. But I have six of interfacing. Come on. It's pretty a lot, if you ask me. Is this right? Let me see. Just Come on, look at this. Six interfacing? That's a lot. How can it be only 3%? Oh my god. So maybe it's the... I don't know. Uh, by the way, why is this thing anyway? It's military. A service depot of some sort. Oh, used to service what? The washerwoman mentioned a depot up the coast. She said it was for moving ammo and cargo across the bay. This might be it. Hmm. But let's walk away. But it, this is cool. Like, how can I open with 3% chance? I need more interfacing, I guess. But how much more? Come on, I have 6. 6 is pretty high. Come on. But I guess not. I guess the game wants me to have more. And yeah. We'll see what will happen. Here, can't I do something? No, I've been here already. Maybe I can go down. Oh, I can go back from there. Yeah, maybe there's something there, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that, if you ask me. Yes, here there's another... Ooh! A school of fish huddle around a fence post, then scatter into the dark, okay? Before you are drawbridge, it can only be lowered from the other side. Ooh! Wow, that's pretty... something, and we're gonna do that, right? So, you know, it's a shortcut, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a thought here. Maybe it's for the bird. You see that seagull up there? Remind you of anybody? Yes. Uh, the seagull reminds me of anybody. A bird? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to have a seagull conversation. No one comes to mind, if you ask me. You and the seagull are just alike. Well, I don't know. She can fly freely. She is strong, and man, maybe the seagull. Think is about good. the seagull story. It's one of endurance and adaptation. The seaside was paradise once. They were birds of that paradise. Once, huh? huh. Then their paradise became shit city. Oh. And what did they do? They became urban survivors, All right. eating burgers out of trash cans. Killing and eating pigeons. All right, no all right. That sentimental bullshit. They're hustlers getting shit done. They're one pair of track pants away from gangsters, just like you. So hold on, have I ever eaten a burger out of the trash? <laughs> you have. Uh, the body remembers. Oh no. Uh. Fucking right. Whatever it takes to survive, I am the seagull. I guess I am a bit like seagull. A bit. Exactly. The seagull does what it takes, and so do you. Oh. You've got that same spirit in you. When the time comes, you push yourself. All right. Morale and things that. So, ooh, what is this? Ooh, who is that? 
it must have taken a lot of patience to do this. So let's pay attention to not destroy that. This painted wheat pestle. Someone is trying to bring cheer to the world. Huh. That guy, I guess. Wow. Let me see this. More tribalistic markings. This, this boss is covered in lila humanoids. A pole screwed into the ice cubes. The tent erect. Okay. Trash from some un undenying party. Alright. There's a lot of things. Now, can I do something about this bridge? A pane of etonite has been planted into the snow. Two okay. Two are holding it up. Barely holding it up. It could fall over any minute. It's what is this? It looks like a makeshift bridge. Could be convenient. Hmm. See, push the entire the etonite over, the I guess. falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. Perfect execution, right? We should ask that girl on the ice what's going on here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So now I can cross the bridge. Fantastic. And then we're gonna check it out here too. So let's see. This girl. I didn't know it was a girl. A shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early twenties kneels on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, she looks up. If it wasn't for Kim, I wouldn't have known that it was a girl. Hell no, if it wasn't for Kim. So yeah, now I know. Oh, hello there. Achille, Achille, Achille I don't know how, to, how you want to pronounce this name. But it's a pretty strange name, at least for me. Everyone knows drugs make you invulnerable to cold. Okay. You bet this one likes to party. Dear child, it's freezing. Where, where's your head? Huh? She looks up at you, distracted. I said you should have a handheld. So should you. I have it. You don't have to do anything. First of all, I do what I want. Second of all, I have it. Come on. I don't have to do anything. I am the law. You have to do what the law says. I should and I do put it in your head. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh my god. She's fucked up with her mind. How can you not see my head? It's nice. You should wear one too if you plan on staying outside in this weather. Now let's all clean up. I have some questions for you. No, number one first. Yeah, well. Look, man. Well. Fuck the hat. Your pulse rises. Oh. Red check. Is that kind of language really necessary? I'm sorry I said fuck the hat. I was concentrating on something else. Okay. My whole family swears and it rubbed off on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's where I've been expressing her face. Uh, she'll answer a question now. So, what's your name? A cell. A cell. That's how you read that. What her type of strange name? Her hair is blonde, with dark roots showing. There's a coarseness to her features. Some <laughs> masculinity below that timidness. And your surname? Why? It's for the paperwork. Why indeed? Forget it. Okay. So, what's the, the, the... No, I don't want to say it. I'm from the police, from the right start. I don't know. Because police right here in general is not seen well too well. So if I don't say that, at least at the beginning, maybe it's better. Maybe it's going to help so open some path of dialogue unique, with some unique answers. Since, you know, she doesn't know. And, uh, yeah, but everyone knows. It's like, wh whatever I go... They can recognize me. You're from police. Okay, I have the super badge and everything. But maybe, I don't know, she don't. Because, you know, he, she didn't even recognize that I have a hat. So maybe that will help. I don't know. So what's the device you have there? This is a portable recording device. It's for field recording. Low quality, but still. Oh, and the wires? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. Oh, what's a contact microphone? A contact mic records sounds from inside things, like this ice. Okay. Your mangled brain would like you to know there is a boxer called Contact Mike. <laughs> yeah? Any news on my wife's name? How about my, uh, my mother? No. Hmm. You're welcome. Hmm. So, does this have anything to do with Contact Mike? Uh... Yeah, I record stuff with it. 
No, I mean the boxer contact mic. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> this is a contact microphone. It's for recording inside of solid objects. Contact mic just beats people up. Okay. That's not fair. And an understatement. You know, contact mic doesn't just beat people up. Contact mic is a role model. How does that thing work? Where did you... Number one, um. let's go. <laughs> An entire litany spews forth. Wow. Yes, you heard, you heard right. You should try to be more like Contact Mike, a successful athlete and an inspirational figure who has overcome social, physical and mental obstacles. On second thought, screw Contact Mike. He's not a champion. You are. Look at you here in front of Saggy Tent, picking your nose to drug addict music. The world of sports in our is afraid of dedication. Uh, number one. Man, you are one weird cop. This isn't about, so she knows I'm a cop, come on. This isn't about me, this is about your lack of respect for one of boxing greats. And for yourself. What is it with you and this mic guy? Hmm. Okay, if it floats your boat, I'll be more like contact Ooh. mic and less like Ooh, me. tough game. <laughs> what is that? The litany of contact mic. Whoa, let me read this. Minus one logic. Minus one con minus one drama. Oh, come on. Temporary rich bonus is not a bonus. But, yeah, let me see that. It's time once again to return to the 20 things you like to say about Contact Mike. The boxer who is apparently a paragon of a com open competition. It really doesn't get any better than this. Any better. Both inside and outside. The ring. Stop. Point at someone, someone like in the distance. Point your finger at him. He will point his finger back at you, evaluating an impossible goal for finance and privilege. Two, hmm, Con the litany of contact mic, huh? Hmm, so, okay, it was a contact mic and less like me, okay. Yes, that does indeed flood my board. Self-respect is not meant to flood any board of your own. I'll keep yeah. that in mind. For future use. Okay. She turns to check the, her tape recorder. All right. So, how does that thing work? The mic. I don't yes. exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up vibrations from the air. What? The book said it only picks up structure form sound. If you like techno babble. What? You don't know how it works, and you're using something that you don't know how it works. Perfect if you said so. So where did you get the mic from? Same place I got the recorder from. The Palisium. What's the Palisium? Oh man. You haven't been to the Palisium? No. It's the coolest place in this whole drug addled shithole. Oh. It's a music club and a synthesizer workshop on Booty Ooh. Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there, like real musicians. I once saw Arno Van Eyck. I want to go there. Sounds interesting. Who is this Arno guy? Oh yeah, guess you wouldn't know Van Eyck, or really be a Palisium going kind of person. Hmm. I get down, on second thought, let's go back to Condor Mike, I get down. I don't know what that means. I grind. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> it means I'm hip behind my ears. Nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I rock. In the form of a racket tape player and a completely trashed house of rule. <laughs> Let's go. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. She breathes it on her fingers. Looks like she doesn't know what to say. Yeah, you're right. Time has deserted me. Never mind. Let, let me. Sucks, let, oh, fuck! Was there something else? About the contact mic, perhaps? Well, I had, I had to know that my morale was going alright. So, yeah, actually I had some, some none my questions for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what are you doing out here in the cold? Recording, I guess. Hmm. And what is your recording exactly? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. What? But there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. Not sure how that will sound. Crack in the ice and, uh, wait. What happened to the f to the headphones? My boyfriend sold them. What for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. Hmm. A lie. They were probably pawned off for something suspicious. 
And what are the, these recordings for? The cracks? The footsteps? The musicians in the Palisseum used them for making music. They looped the stuff, cutting the oh. tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard oh. to explain. Okay. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be, like, a music place anyway. She rubs her shoulders and look around. The girl is cold all of a sudden. Very cold. Hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. Okay. Take this, your call. The lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. What? No, ma'am, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay. <laughs> the lieutenant backs off. He throws you a glance. Well, he wanted to help. So now this is where the where I will come in handy. Don't say this game. I hate the sentence. Come in handy. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Come in handy. Yeah. So give you give her your hat here. You need this more than I do. I don't want to give you uh, this hat. No. You said it's supposed to be a music place. What is this? Now, this is where a hat will come in handy. Yeah, maybe you were right about the hat. Hmm. I want to real do this. Give him, give her my hat. I'm going to lose my hat for real. Do I want to do that? And stick back to the old hat? Let me see. Can I see? I can't see now. So, let's try this. Thanks. Fuck! I don't want to do that. Thanks for the experience, but fuck. So you said it's supposed to be a music place. What is it? What is that? The boys think it could be a place like the Palisseum or something. Stupid. Oh. It's really not going to be a Palisseum, that's for sure. The church. Yeah, Andre and the guys. They're inside in the tent. Okay. And why is that? Why are you freezing out here? Why the boys are inside? They got too much stuff crammed in there. No room. Stuff like what? Music stuff mostly. Like this tape recorder, but bigger. And there's piles of it. You mean like those headphones your boyfriend sold? Yep, they were pretty. I'm sorry we sold those. Why not just leave some of it outside so you don't have to freeze? That stuff is more expensive than I am. More expensive than any of us really. Doesn't matter, I can take the cold. I had some other questions. Empathy legendary. Okay, it's so low. Fuck! And I gave her, gave her her hat. Tell me more about the tape. The, the tape recorder lies on the ice like this guy the toy. Pick it up. Whoa, 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 whoa! Tape recorder. Give me that. That's important, I guess. So I give her her hat. So we need to add this. Absolutely. So tell me more about this music place you've been planning in the church. It's supposed to become like a club for anodic dance music, like that new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Palisseum. Except that, yeah. Imagine, I'm imagine if I had the, the wrong head, if I had the armor piece, like a head where, come on, that would have been fucking bad and by the way look at the model look at looking game she doesn't wear the hat i give her the hat for nothing put the hat on your fucking head girl come on so she looks at the whole wooden church up in the poles as me and one comes belonging the six-story structure lets out a do doleful sh shriek what is anodic dance music you know anodic cathodic Music that's made with electronic instruments. Okay, 10 experience, nice. So, electronic instrument like what? Synthesizers and tape consoles. Microcomputers too. Hmm. Anything that uses electricity, but isn't guitars. Also found sounds, stuff okay. like that. Okay, so, so you want to turn the church into a club? I know, it's not my idea. Hmm. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but now they can't even take it. What? Hey, don't get me wrong, but you're cops, right? No, we're the police. Yes, why do you ask? Okay, well, maybe you could talk to Andre and the guys. 
because there are some strange things going on in that church. If you're police, you should look into it, right? Into it? I broke a pry bar to try to go inside. Fuck that. Y'all talk to them. We'll see. I prefer to remain uncommittal. I've got an aunt on my plate as it is. I'll talk to them. They're inside yeah. that thing there. Would be cool if you did. Was there something else? Anyway, let me see. What is the... Uh, I done something. Okay. So, do you put the padlock on the church door? No. No? Not really. No. She's trying to get out of a direct lie with semantic tricks. She personally didn't put the padlock on the door. Okay, if you personally didn't, then who did it? Yeah, you know, that's what I meant. Noid did. Noid put the padlock on the door. Wait, this is Noid. This Noid is a friend of yours? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Why did no person put a padlock on the church though? To keep more weirdos from getting in. Fucking Martinez. I'm sorry. It's got the worst weirdos. If you get around to it, ask Andre about him. He'll tell you. Oh wait, let me try again. Can I maybe no. try the... Really. She's trying yes, I have the sticker. Let's try this. With semantic tricks. She so personally didn't put the I want to know more about the sticks. So this isn't yours? It's noids. Okay. To keep more weirdos from getting in. So, and how about the church then? I had another question. And, uh, oh, I need more empathy. God, oh my god, my empathy is so low. It's, is it, that's okay. it for now. Let me go, by the way, and see something. To empathy. Where is the fucking empathy, please? I need more perception too, I guess. Perception and empathy. But, where is the fucking empathy? Let me see. Maybe I had more because of the hat. Can be. I don't know. This. Plus one reaction speed. Minus one rhetoric. And this. Plus one encyclopedia. Yeah, let's try this. I had to. I don't have a hat now. So. There's something that gives me empathy, maybe. In some way. Inland Empires with the cops. No empathy. Plus one, please. No fucking empathy. Whatsoever. Alright. So we need to talk to this lady again. That's a red check. So we need to pay extra attention with red checks. Because they can be retried, okay? So, where... Now, wait. Where I can talk? Where is the nod guy and the... Inside here, maybe. Oh, I the can go inside, is just huh? Just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Okay. Inside, three young men, all in forward-looking apparel, reminiscent of the sticker on the padlock, are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Okay. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Get in. Come on, I can get inside and the girl can stay outside in the cold. What is that? Look at this guy. Come on, you stupid fucking Android, whoever the hell you are. Let's get the girl inside, okay? It's freezing cold outside and I lose my hat. That's your fault. Fuck you. That's his fault. I lose my fucking hat. So now, oh, let's go. I guess that has give me empathy. I, mean, I don't remember clearly. But that had give me, I guess, one point. Let me see. No, maybe it was something like authority. I don't know, but I had something like... <sighs> fuck. Whatever the hell I had. No, no, let's squeeze Sorry, in. Sorry, you barely have room for one. Oh. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. For one? Room for one? Let the girl look inside. It's raining. And it's cold, I'm freezing. Not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. I'm sure you will feel right at home. Hmm. I'll keep watch. <laughs> he gestures for you to squeeze in. Okay, if you say so. Oh, what is this? What is this place? Oh my god. 
a speaker, the big kind they use for live for live music. Can start filled with the what appears to be water. The label says distilled. A pile of nasal sprays. Brand name Nose Fed Ultra. Okay. Smells like sweat and laundry detergent. What's the trace of either? Oh. So let's start with this guy, right? A young man with peroxide blonde hair. Holds up a Harmon Welsh. Who the fuck is this guy? Nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, Says, Hot car! Is it? It's hot car! <laughs> You're gonna keep saying it's hardcore, aren't you? Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Okay. You understand guys? Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger, huh? Egghead. Whoa. In fact... <laughs> oh my god. Could there be a right way out of this garden of forking paths, you think? Hmm. Oh my god. Solve the egghead puzzle. There has to be some way to walk out to this person. You just haven't found it yet. It's definitely not about science. Nah, science. What if you just try again and find your way to, to this maze thing to say? So there's something. Okay. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his office here with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Okay. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shake his hand, I guess. His grip is strong. What can happen? And warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This is my posse. Noid. What? The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. What? An egghead. Egg! Okay, the tape player high about his head continues to blast what is probably an anodic music. Together with a set of burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Wait, how many music venue have organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Okay. Artists are talent. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. Okay. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Hmm, there's no need. This place is pretty bad. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of narcomania on the coast. Okay, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not yeah. exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dope heads and burnouts if left unattended. Okay. Dope heads! Burnouts! Yangri yeah, spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Chamron. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Okay. Strike that! The world. Well, I get this. And Another sadly, stupid yeah, guy. Because the dump heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. Okay. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dump heads and burnouts really are. Good. Okay. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Shake your hand. So, what kind? The spooky kind. What exactly do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community centre and a place of spiritual refuge. By the way, I can say that you are spooky too, if you ask me. Also, they don't eat or clean Look at the, the building. Annoyed. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has okay. bad signs. No one can dance like that. By the way, these guys are a little... Well, Thank I'll let you me say that. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, 
I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. I guess uh, I will take the task, but just because, you know, uh, I want to get inside the church and see where, so if there's something to loot. I lose a pry bar for that. I lose the fucking pry bar. So, I need to go inside. Come on, so I look into it. Tell me more. Hey, hey, Asile told me not to put the padlock on the door. Why? Oh, so you met her? Good, good. Okay. I did ask Noi to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. Okay. I had to do it in an hour. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. I need the key. Of course. Noi, give the officer the key. All right. Let's try this. It's as if Fuck! I was frozen somehow. You think you can sense the key moving in the air? Yeah, this is going to be way... Don't ruin the cool by overdoing it. Raise your hand in front of your face with a minimum of... Flam! Straight oh, in fuck. the eye. Straight in the old eyeball. In the looking ball. Manna, it's nothing. Pick the goddamn key up. Put it in your pocket and move on. Ouch, got him, asshole. What is wrong with you? Can't you see I'm in pain now? Uh, I'm getting too old for this. My bad. Okay. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. I don't doubt that you'll be there. So, what can I talk again to this guy? This is hardcore. It's hardcore. Skibber D, skibber danger. I uh... I don't know if it's like if I talk directly to Noid. With Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. Yes. Skin shows through the holes in the speed speed freaks too large sweater. In front of him an open toolbox full of carpentry tools. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. It's good you talk to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Maybe talk to people for you he can give me a padlock. Uh, no, no, a padlock. Come on. Why is that padlock? A pry bar, maybe. So he runs uh, his hand through his hair, which is called calm blood back in most seriousness, and continues to fiddle with some gears. Sign? Yeah, gotta compare. See if we can align. Interesting. I suck at socializing, man. Even okay. now, our sign synchronization is way off. But I'll see what I can do. He continues to rearrange his, uh, his tools. I saw a sticker on the padlock. Can you tell me anything about it? A sticker? You mean the yellow one? Can you describe it to me? How can you know it's a yellow one? Interesting. He wants you to describe it. <laughs> then he already knows what it looks like. <laughs> In fact, come on, a yellow one. Come on, you know. So how? Why describe it if you already know what I mean? So I can hear you do it. Sometimes the outside gaze helps us reflect on things. All right, I can Enjoy. see the point. Over our guess with your games. Uh, Piss off, Andre. Me and Mr. Cop are trying to discuss art. You shouldn't talk like that. Yeah, you should be more respectful. I don't mind a little foul language here, and there. Yeah, you should more be more respectful. Right. Noted. Sorry. Anyway, what was it like? Produce our ledger and show him the sticker. Uh, okay, it's a yellow circle. The human face with X as for eyes and a smile underneath. I think the X as mean the guy is dead. Yeah. Good, good. What did you want to know? Was I right? Is is a dead is it a dead guy smiling? Yes. You're the twenty All right. person to Experience. get inside, and I've asked twenty three people. Looks like it's a dead guy smiling to the entire human race. Really? Really? Why do you think that's so? They're all the same. Same eyes, same smiles, same death. Okay, what does it mean? We defeated history. We are living in the age of history. And in the eyes of history, we are always already dead. How hmm. can we ever smile then? Because history is a lie, and so are its deaths. All right. Present moment and life are the hardcore. Okay. The hardcore spells them. 
you're gonna die, sorry. Everyone here. Life is like that. It's not because you are the core and you're gonna expel that. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just really ecstatic about the beats. Okay. Or drugged out of his mind. <laughs> to think of it. He could also be drugged out of his mind. Or drunk. Or in a clinical coma. All glad to be dead. But those versions suck. What makes the stickers so modern? Simplicity was brought to us by a classical solarist modernism. But okay. That was a tasteful, harmonious simplicity, right? Okay. Well, hardcore is not tasteful or outwardly harmonious. It's a warning shot. This will be dangerous. The echo of man's loss haunting him. The sticker, the clothes, the music, same thing. You come up with this stuff by yourself? Not alone. Many people are thinking the same thing right now. Okay. We all see the same smiling dead guy in a couple of X's in a circle. And a curve. So I think. So I think we've exhausted the subject for I now. I guess one could write an entire treatise on the thing. But what for? By the way, let me see, it's still recording as I want to. Yeah, it seems like it. I hope the audio is good. Because, you know, sometimes a balance, uh, at least for what I'm doing now, balance the microphone audio and the quality of it, you know, the gain and everything, with uh, what I'm recording, is pretty, yeah, pretty hard. It's pretty hmm, bad, okay? But for the way that I'm doing, I'm doing something that's not so, you know, professional. But, yeah, things are going to change. Time to time are going to change and video is gonna be even better, even better. And uh, yeah, sooner than later we're gonna have better quality videos. I'm thinking about 4K or even 8K resolution. 8K is a giant, but you know, I want to record my content in a way that it's gonna last, okay? And I do it for me, so I want me to be in 8K, so yeah. It's good to see now, it's good to see later, you know, AK is a giant resolution. It's gonna last a lot. AK 60 FPS. True AK by the way, not fake one. But yeah, not now, now I'm not in the possibility to do that. It's too much for me now, but in the nearest future we can see about that. How we can do, but now let's talk about this and let's see about... What about now? Are the signs all right now? Nah. Still strongly out of sync. Stage gamma disalignment. What? You heard me. He examines the small metal bolt in his hand. Okay, so why are you called Noid? The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. Okay. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. What? He picks up some sort of a widget. I don't understand what that means. Ooh. New task. Whoa. So, okay, maybe I'll come back later, I guess. So, wow. Oh, okay, I need to talk to this person. Okay, I need to talk to the Hackhead. Then I need to have Braver start a nightclub, and then I need to sing the signs with Noid. So, let me read this. Did I did it? read this? I don't remember. That's to be so so some way to talk to this person you just haven't found it yet it's a thing about not about science what if you just try again and find your way out of this maze of things to say so he help ravers start a nightclub the ravers asked you to help to turn the church into a dance club but there are already some people inside find out who those people are and what they want look into the spookers in the church and then sing to the science with knowing no, it doesn't want to talk to you. The signs are not in sync. I guess you need to help him and, and his friends to, out somehow. Prove that you are one of the crew. Who knows what the, what he'll tell you? Well, uh, maybe something helpful for investigations. That's what I hope. Hey. Say nothing. Still say nothing. Say nothing. Internally coherent. Still say nothing. Say nothing. He furrows his brow <laughs> as his very large head traces the wow. sublime invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. 
Maybe I found a way to talk to him. He lets out an agonized roar over the flavor ish, obviously not too hardcore, don't beat below. So hardcore. Easy to talk. What? He stops dead in his trash, turning his head onto the side. I was just th thinking uh, that a moment ago. One mind, one spirit, there's no other world, there's no other life! Okay. So, did I make it wrong? Oh fuck, yes! Let's try again! Let's try to be faster. He furrows it. Is it though? But is it? I mean really. He, he tilts his head on the other side like an owl. I don't know what to say exactly. Let me try this. Under the radar. Over the top. Fuck! So Big it's not that. True. Oh, come on. We're gonna do this, guys. Is it though? Is but it? Is it? I mean really. He tilts his head on the other side like an owl. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I am the Mike Enforcer. I am the chick's checker. Yeah! Oh, so I guess there's no way now. Or, what can I say? Let's try again. Big cloud, true. Hot, say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Say nothing. Coherent. Oh, wow, I didn't read this. Why I don't? I was wondering if you knew who killed the mercenary hanging behind the reeling Iraq Zosta. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yako Qatar, the place to be. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. This. Heck, guy. I don't know. I am beginning to think that really doesn't have anything to do with the case. Why is this Yako Qatar the place to be? What does it mean? Yako Qatar is a hardcore place. Okay. Yako Qatar is an abbreviation from the Gradian term, Zone of Ecological Catastrophe, an agricultural mega project in the extreme southeast. Encyclopedia of the boss. It involves knowledge reign supreme to irrigation and a completely new type of fertilizer. All right. An intricate system of irrigation networks pop marking the earth. Intermittent seas of phosphorus mud, ripped tarpaulin fluttering in the wind. A pair of molten rubber boots also comes to mind. All in all, a truly hardcore place. Okay. So let me see. Big clothes. True. Hard. Full. Car. Hard car. Hard car to the internally cohesive. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, car, car. I am the beginning to think this really doesn't really have nothing to do with the case. It's the message, so listen and you will see. No illusion. The spirit is what you feel. So, how can I solve this fucking egg puzzle? Come on, I'm gonna try again. Be close, true, hard, full, car. By the way, let me see. All right, it's recording. It's recording. So, is it? It's hard car. You are just gonna keep saying it, hard car, aren't you? I don't know what you, what to say. Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Yeah, I tried a Be lot of close, options. True, let me see. Hardcore. This is new. Yeah! <laughs> this young man adds a capital G before the H in his yet and args. Okay. This produces a guttural Gottwaldian accent and makes him sound more animal, more okay. in it. Or maybe it's not Gottwaldian. Maybe it's Oranese. Probably an homage to Oranie, where Arno van Eyck is from. Judging by his name. Knowledge reigns supreme, you encyclopedia top. Creation right now. So this is the famous Van Egg I'm hearing. You know about him? He moves his mouth, but sound doesn't doesn't come out. His eyes are sides and saucers. Looks like you've rendered him speechless. You know Van Egg? Yeah, I'm a mayor of Hackhead. Your friend has actually mentioned him. Yeah, I'm a mayor Hackhead. Wow. Let's do that. Wow. The skinny wraith looks at you with some disbelief. Oh, you don't believe me, huh? So am I! So am I! He begins to shake his head and everyone will understand. Oh! Is that why they call you Egghead? Because... Because? Egghead to the mega! The K became the G! The boy became the man! 
Oh, hey, kid. Hey, kid. Oh, these guys. Ah, these raver guys. Ah, what a rave party down here, by the way. So small. The advent? Okay. So, what? Be close. True. Hard. Full. Car. Why did I did before this? Then this. No, I don't. Oh my god. This is gonna be pretty hard. Oh fuck it. Yeah, yeah. This young man, or maybe it's not. The white, yeah. He missed one A. Oh, the E to the A 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 to the G to the H to the exclamation mark. Yeah, what the fuck? You missed a one A. You missed an A. There, I yelled mine was six A. So you had to tell you switch six two. I'm the hard rhymer, the track attacker, the mic enforcer, the six checker. I am the law. But he's a rapper or what? Come on, why is he doing rhymes and he's listening to these weird beats and that? Yeah, that's something Big else. Hard, true, hard, hard cop, yeah. This young man, or maybe it's the Y to the E to the A 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 to the G to the H to the exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He missed one A. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, why I'm still talking to this guy? This guy is so I don't know. I want you want to talk to him, so let's go. Okay, that's new. So there's something else that I didn't do. This. Okay, I see. Yeah, request. I want everybody as close to the stage as possible. Let's try again. Internally, all car. Oh, gotta get the people going. Why? I'm the party boy. It's my job. Why is a party boy? Hardcore party, twenty-five-seven, beyond the winter's orbit style. Okay. There is a place far away in Cutler, beyond a certain latitude, known as Winter's Orbit, where there are twenty-five hours in a day. It is a tremendously cold place, abandoned to drunks and failed rock stars. Full of Etonite, depression, and half finished ski flying hills. The Suru live there. Okay. I want to, I'm trying to, uh, unlock this, this, this fucking puzzle. True, hard, full, it's hard car. Skip a D, skip a D. Oh, I, I clicked the wrong button, fuck. Big cloud, true, hard, hard car, hard car, internally cohere, all car. He furrows his. No, but seriously, I'm a little worried he isn't. The question is, what is the question? Just answer the question. But there was no question. What? What is Big it? Cloud, true. Hot, it's hard car. Skip it. I make the fucking wrong true. thing. Skip but shit. Hard car. Hard car. Internal. All car. He furrowed. Hard. The question is, what is the question? That would have been good if I asked you a question, but I didn't. Now just the other. But there was a question? One. So let's try again. Alright. <laughs> Alright, it comes the night. I don't remember. I want to. Ah, here. What? Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yeko cut. Yeko cut an intricate sip. I don't remember. There was another play. Hard cut is a mega. Here comes. Oh fuck! I forgot now. Hard cut is a mega internally. All car. All right. Gotta get the people going. I'm the party boy. It's my job. I'm also a party boy. Two on a track. Watch your back. Watch out for the heart attack. Oh fuck, don't tell me that, since uh, I'm likely the person that can have that. So, don't tell me that. Two on the track, watch your back, watch out for the heart attack. Okay, he wants to rap, huh? Well, 
By the way, you dressed like shit. Look at me. In my echo. You know? Yeah. Old school. Real old school. Not like this. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Let's get fucking out of here. Uh, I don't want to deal with this egg shit no more. Fuck that guy. I still don't talk to him. And yeah, we're gonna talk to him later, I guess. We're gonna find our way. Not now. Okay, it's still recording. So now what? Can I say something else to the little girl? There's room by for all people, the by the way. Girl kneels on the sea ice. She looks up as you approach. Okay. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you gonna I... help us? With the church, I mean. I'll help you all right. Great. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? Hmm. We've been waiting for weeks here. I'd like I'd like to know more about your associates. My associates? I haven't got much to say about them. What do you mean? You must know something about them. Of course I do. Uh, I just don't tell people about my friends and who they why? are and so on. I don't provide information on them. Okay. To the cops. So. To the cops, huh? What about you? Tell me something about yourself. Me? Yes. I'm a silver bird. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe I'll ask later about all this. I don't know what makes you think it'll be any different later, but... Silverbird? So? More like contact mic now. Whoa, we need empathy. That's for sure. And I'd like to talk about her associates. Yeah, but there's time to do this, right? There's always time. I want to lock this too. But yeah. Guess not now. So yeah, let's remove this for now. So now what? What can we do? Sorry? Guys, am I stoned? Is this rock, ice, whatever the hell is floating? Oh my god. There's a way to check that out. This is like floating. I don't know. Maybe I am stoned. I don't know. But that was like she. That was floating. I don't know. So. Oh, and yeah, I have the key. Yeah, I was thinking. Come on, my fucking pry bar. Fuck the fucking pry bar. Every fucking time I think about the fucking pry bar, I get angry. Because I need the fucking pry bar. Now I don't have the fucking pry bar and I lost the fucking key. How perfect it is. What is that? The full, full of holes. Could the posts hide treasure? Look inside. Alright. What is this? Alcohol potent pills now. What? Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a tool. What? Plus one physics, minus one morale. Use left four. How cold potent pills now? Wow. A sturdy bottle of beer that tastes like piss. Not that would you know how piss tastes like. Just a guess. The label says it's made in Revachol by Lafayette Potent Brewery. Okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, all the things. Oh, give me the. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. These things are full of objects. Whoa. What I discovered. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky. I need to pay attention to all of these things. Give me that money. Woo. This is pretty good if you ask me. Who is the best cop? Who is the best detective? <coughs> <coughs> Me, obviously. I'm the best cop. I'm the best detective. So, we're gonna check out every of them now. Or just some of them. Well, I don't see any more of them. But yeah, wow, that was pretty good if you ask me. So, now what? Now I have the key. 
Heavy wooden Open. doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock, carelessly drilled into the wood. The fucking pry bar. Oh, I love the pry bar. Every now and then there are some, you know, some treasures to find. Hey, I can use the pry bar here. Cluck, open the case. Let's go, give me the gloves, give me the money, give me the things that I found, and now no pry bar anymore. The lock turns easily. Okay. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I a great whoosh of air rushes into the dark hmm. innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum. Okay, I hope we found some pretty nice treasure inside. In the heart of the city. Okay. If I'm doing this, it's for treasures, money, or things like that, maybe. Let's see. Whoa! Look at this place, how cool it is. Wow! A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. Alright, let's walk. Oh, you know what? Let me save the game. Since this is an old building, maybe it will collapse and I will die. That's why I don't have to run. And let's not run. Let's walk. We don't have to be... What is this? Well, more of the forked lighting pattern you saw outside. Whoa. Bark beetles? No, it look inter intentional. Some long forgotten style. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's pretty a lot of things to, to see here. Wow, look at this. This is cool. Alright. The the blackboard is filled with complex equations. They look recent. Something to do with radio frequencies? Who knows, maybe. Wow, the bowl is filled with water. A live wire runs directly into it. Could these wires work as a contact microphones? Whoa. Well, everything can be... Oh, look at that, there are some shoes too! The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Okay. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it. But okay. for the faintest of hums. It seems the sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out outright. Truly unusual. Hmm. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Wow. Yell as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and clip, uh, uh, clap your hands. No, I don't stomp. I don't want to stomp my feet on an old building that can collapse and broke my fucking leg. So let's yell. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl. But the softest of whimpers. Hmm. It's unnerving. Let's try this. If I don't have other choices. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total. Somehow. Hmm. Turn to Kim. What's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. What? Can you hear anything? Almost nothing. It's beginning to worry me. The church just has. Strange acoustics, some engineering trick. Maybe right. the church was designed this way to okay. prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Hmm. Maybe they want to discourage singing and dancing. Hmm. Could be. Yeah. She doesn't seem entirely convinced though. Look up into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling Whoa. panels become Whoa. barely visible then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Let's try this. Maybe we can. Maybe. Oh, this is a red check. Oh, let's try. Yes! Let's go! Whoa, 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 what is happening? Fantastic, right? Wow. The design of this church is, is amazing. It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and it's making its way toward you through all the other shadows. What? Some person? I don't think so. On the ceiling? Yes. 
The darkness makes the ceiling feel infinitely far away. Follow the shadow movement. It's not a shadow anymore. Becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal Whoa. descends. What? Officer, is there something up there? The lieutenant follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is that you are seeing. Oh no. You've lost sight of it. Where did it go? I don't know. Blink. Okay. You see something hanging oh, oh. from the rafters, looking straight at you. Spider-Man! This is Spider-Man. You know, that's the, the way Spider-Man grabs the things. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Oh, yeah. But before we do that, can we check out other places first? Look at how, how many things to... Oh, there's something to take too. A cracked pane of glass, colorful, perfect. Four has drowned flowers on the glass, obscuring the view. A figure drowned in the forest on the window, de depicting a deer. Okay, what is this? Pants? No, mask banger skill silk scarf. Ooh, ooh, the scarf. Is, is this a neck thing? Strange how pants. Yeah, the, let's not see that. Ooh, the scarf, huh? This neck giving me plus two drama. The huge red scarf is dusty from lying in the church. A, red, a subtle red on red embroidery. 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 Come on. Embellishes it with khaki roots, root stairs, and mask flora motivates. Motifs. Is he right? Wow, this is uh, cool. Yeah, I prefer this. Paint trizzle is not bad, but I have two drama. Plus two is better. And I did it just for the plus two. So let me take all the things first, you know? Like, let me see here, for example. Then we're gonna come back and talk to this guy, for sure. Whoa! A spider has spun its web around this wood carved pillar. Alright. New. Alright, this is good. What we want to upgrade? I guess I want to upgrade still the. Oof, I don't know. Because the one that I want to do is like perception, right? For the body. That's important, right? But, you know, let's wait. Let's wait. This is level up. We can do it. Absolutely. We will do it. For sure. We can do empathy too. Empathy was good for something, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. We can do this later. Let's see now. I need to do something with the body first. What is this? Shoes. And money too. Whoa. Mask bangers. Red burger. Ooh. These are cool. But yeah, I don't want to wear this since plus one empathy in someone else's shoes. Okay, these dippers. Uh, by the way, I didn't read that, right? Or I did that. Yeah, I read this. Uh, mask bangers, red borgue. Wow. This dapper snake skin shoe have an almost invisible white on the white flower motif sewn on the tongue. The two caps are still dusty from lying in the church. Wow. Really cool, if you ask me. Let me see this. Whoa. Money, 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 money. And there's other things too. Uh, yeah, maybe we can leave these other things for later. Or maybe not. Maybe we want to do these other things now. Before we talk to the guy. Yeah, absolutely. Two decks of reel-to-reel -reel tape spinning on empty. Okay. Oh. Can I use that to spin my tape? So, a pro portable harmon wall sheet tape recorder. Wow. Is it possible it's recording something? Absolutely. Someone's siphoning electrical current from outside into this antenna. Alright, so there's these two things. This first. That's broken. Maybe we can get In inside. White, silver and apricot fails. The young mother of humanism stands above you. Okay. A crack runs across her body. She is impossibly tall, oval-faced and sad. A dark and radiant majesty. 
Okay. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. Okay. Freed in her arms are a pair of glowing lungs, clearly visible from underneath her flowing dress. So you, you should knee. What? Knee. Okay. Your knees touch the floor. The oh. floorboards are hard and cold. There, you kneel among the snowdrifts, diffuse light falling on your hands from beyond the glass. Hmm, close your eyes first. The world is silent, but for the creaks and cracks of the massive wooden structure behind you, it covers you from the wind outside. Okay. The ocean feels distant. It's ebb and flow blocked off by the centuries-old pinewood sarcophagus around you. Okay, open your eyes, I guess, right? Whoa. The woman looks down at you, kneeling. She towers among her followers, architects, laymen, courtiers. Whoa. There is a sad smile on her lips and a glint in her green-blue eye of what? Compassion? Remorse? Well, we don't know. She acknowledges the passing of someone who is still alive. It's morning. It's not possible to leave. It's compassion. Let's try the first As one. As that soft word passes through your mind, the lieutenant draws an X-shaped cross from shoulder to shoulder. Do the same as you get up. Yeah, your let's pray. Your touch your chest four times. Then you rise from your knees into the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles her distant smile, sundered by the crack in the glass. Encyclopedia. Look at this. Yeah. White check and this is white check too. So this is the last day. The woman in the village was right. He this knew of the, the place. Church Ooh. of Humanity in Martinez. Or the small pinewood church in some regions. Hmm. Yeah, you know of the it's place. It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. It was built not long after Revachol's founding, 300 or so years ago, oh. by first-generation settlers. Okay. On the coast of an uninhabited archipelago, where only animals had roamed before, in the wild reeds. Okay, okay. Wow, this is cool, but I want to say, what else do you know? There used to be seven safe churches on the coast. Les Sept Sœurs, they called them. The Seven Sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. Okay. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Mm. Something else, perhaps. I don't know, he looks to the machinery lying around. Respectful. Is the lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? Kill him, are you a follower of DeLoreanism? Yes, we all are. Her name, body and rule are synonymous mm. with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. I didn't think you were spiritual. It's not spiritual, it's constitutional. The DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. So let's try first, encyclopedia. Despite yes. the damage you've done to yourself, yes. the title of Knowledge Reign Supreme. Campus, this is her innocence, Dolores Day. The innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state. Perhaps the most famous human being ever to have lived. All right. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. It has survived the deluge and haunts you still. And will haunt you forever as it haunts all men all right so wait what exactly is an innocence what exactly is an innocence i've heard of the system okay when did she rule let me start with number one the highest category of historic individual an embodiment of the world spirit a ruler more an innocence is elected to office by the founding party a precedent that has taken place a mere six times in the entirety of history. Whoa. The legal system of the Real Belt is built to accommodate an authentic rule should it coincide with our time. And right. innocence is infallible. The decisions made by one are not decisions. They are inevitabilities. What would have happened anyway? Only accelerated, packed into decades instead of centuries. And innocence is a continuous compressed event, a sacred human being. It is an honor and a glory to live when one is in office. Okay, so is one in office now? No, we are alone. Okay, when did she rule? What else do I know about that one? Okay, okay, when did she rule? 300 years ago, 
in the wake of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulindian, by explorers from the continent of Muindi. She is, among other things, the innocence of inter-isolary travel and the connected world. What else do I know about her? Many things. You know hmm. she was a woman of the court, the wife of an influential Marchese, and eventually hmm. the principal advisor Marquesa. to Irene La Navigateur, Queen of Seren, modern-day Sir Lacle. Also, that she was gorgeous beyond beauty. Okay, what else? Was she smart? Terribly. Women of the court were expected to play both contract bridge and chess sufficiently well to prove an interesting challenge to a man. A simple grasp in matters of philosophy, theology and science was encouraged. She was, by all means, a kept woman. Hmm. She made the most of her position in the anti-Delorean court. A court visited by the most prominent thinkers and artists of the day. Hmm. In secret, she was becoming the era's preeminent philosopher of the hmm. state. A scalpel, a piercing gaze. All she right. was an almost preternaturally magnetic and intelligent individual. Encyclopedia King. Tenement, she appeared out of time, a messenger from the future of the species. We all fell in love with her, head over heels, even before she was declared an innocence. Her influence was tremendous. How come? It was on her advice that Irene Le Navigateur sponsored a number of voyages into the Pale. A costly, often tragic endeavor, ultimately vindicated by the discovery of the new, new world. The piece of reality you're standing on. All right. She was crowned two years after the first expedition returned, setting in motion what is widely considered the greatest era in history. The DeLorean, the DeLorean era. Era. era, not area. Oh, okay. So, wow, wow, right? Wow, indeed. When her innocence was declared and the queen she had advised for years fell on her knees before her, she was so overcome with emotion that her lungs started glowing in her chest. Whoa. <laughs> Fact. Bystanders reported golden filaments lighting the already sunlit chamber around her clearly visible beneath her dress. Golden filaments, huh? That is why the lungs are the symbol of love for the cultures of the real belt. Whoa, I want more, yeah. As did we all. The lands of the mess and the occident and even far away Supramundi. Altogether, 21 of the 40 Mundial nations of the time immediately accepted an ascetic rule, even before her crowning. Her crowning? In a city called Advesperaskit, in Vesper Messina, her homeland. The name of the city means evening comes, hmm. but it happened on a winter's morning, with the canals frozen and slush falling out of the sky. All right. She was dressed in a white and pearl dress on an emptied out plaza with the crowd far away. Already, her Thelias, the secret servicemen of the innocents, were worried about an assassination attempt. She must have been beautiful. I don't care how she looked. I don't care. It doesn't hurt me. She must have been beautiful. Oh, yes. She looked like humanity's young mother. A perfect mother. Whoa. Insultingly beautiful. It was as if her face and shoulders and hands were covered in a soft down of underfeathers. You know this well. Very well. All right. Midwinter snow was beating the cobblestones around her. A small attaché of officials stood by as her therriers placed a white gold wreath on her head. The crowning was mostly witnessed by secret servicemen. Now what? One of the men in this secret service killed her oh. 22 years later. A young man who had come to suspect that Dolores Day was not entirely human, but something else. What? Something that had walked in our midst watching us stumble for hundreds, if not thousands of years, until it decided to interfere, interfere in the course of our history. We were supposed to come up with this ourselves. The man was reported to have screamed at the innocents. Okay. Dolores Day was shot in the chest with a fouling piece eight okay. times. Oh my the God. man thought to be insane said he once touched her and her body had been unnaturally warm, like a furnace, and that sometimes, while on duty, 
He observed her forgetting to breathe for over 10 minutes. What? 10 minutes without breathing? This inhuman quality was witnessed by many others as well, glowing lungs and all. It is commonly attributed to mass hysteria and religious psychology. So was there something terrifying about her? Terrifying is a term too emotionally charged for your semantic memory, or what remains of it. But, but although she is often considered to be the greatest human being to ever live, there was something ominous about Glorious Day. Constantly surrounded by her therriers, okay. she was the most socially secluded and least self-aware of all the innocences. Some modern thinkers would consider her a war criminal for the campaigns she waged against the Mesk state. And then there were the resettlement programs. What happened? The Mesk state tried to detach itself from innocentic rule. Parts of the world were experiencing whiplash from accelerating inter-secularism. Her mandatory education programs and mass resettlement of upstream Margrit were problematic as well. <laughs> Dissenters were suppressed by a military force she called the Army of Humanity. Okay. Suggesting those who fight against it are not part of humanity. She adored chess, yes, but also military war games. Dolores Day often holds a tiny tin soldier between her index finger and thumb in icons such as this. She was also blonde, the blondest woman you have ever seen, with green eyes the color of the percentage. Mare okay, Mare Interregnum. Hmm. Little is known of Experience her is what I wanted. It's as I was hoping for more, but yeah, it's something. completing his role, which was to introduce Dolores Day to court. In conclusion, yes, there is something lonely, paranoid, and even terrifying that people seldom mention, but feel when they think of her. Okay. This subtle terror is part of her iconography. Right. Lieutenant Yefreiter, you hmm. stood there for over five minutes. The lieutenant's calm voice echoes in the, in the cold air of the church. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? She's somehow connected to the case. Glowing lungs, that's fucked up. Nothing, just looking around. She's beautiful, she's not human. We are war criminal. I don't know, I want to think about that she's connected to the case for some reason. And I think about this, actually, so... Let me see, it's still recording, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking this. For me, it's connected to the case, so let's try to do this. She's been dead for 300 years. I am almost a thousand percent certain she isn't connected to the case. He takes his glasses off to clean them. She directly is not connected to the case, but there's something about it. There's something about this type of culture religion things maybe can connect to the case maybe some fanatic of her that have did something thinking about you know i did this because her wanted okay some psychic freak i don't know it can be the situation the entire situation surrounding her myth connected to the case okay not her directly, because I know that she's been dead for 300 years. But there's something about this situation, at least for me, that can be connected to cases. So we need to investigate for sure. None of this is, in fact. This church, the coast, this isn't a good place to get lost in. I don't know. I feel like everything here is connected to the case. That's something, something super big is happening there. I don't know. So let's try this. I hope this works. The shards Fuck! in the dark. You see little pearls of light on the edges of the crack that splits the female figure. Something was Come on. Remains of broken hey. letters line the emulsion. What it said, you do not know. Hey. You know what? Fuck that. Where is that? Where is that? Fuck that. Okay? Let's do this shit. The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of okay. her body. Her face oval and sad. I understand. 
The jigsaw yes! of shards falls into place in front of you. A ghost we did it. construction of the stained glass window. Before it was shattered, there was an older woman beneath the younger one. And a text. A light motif below them both. So what shattered this mosaic? Unknown. Mm. By the way, the, the fact that this mosaic was broken uh, was a pretty big hole, by the way. Look at this. I guess this is the hole, right? You can tell this. Look at this. It's pretty fucking damn big. It's not something small. A motor carriage. A gunshot. Someone falling into it. Or maybe just hooligans looking for something to break. So who is this whole older woman? The inscription on her throne says, oh. Irene the Navigator. Whoa. She is depicted as an older woman wearing thick rimmed eyeglasses, holding a golden rights apfel in one hand and a scepter in the other. This is the queen her innocence day advised. Okay. About. She herself is whole. Small figures of wise men, common men, worshippers walk up the stairs to stand at her feet. Secret servicemen, 30 years, stand in a row guarding her. It must have taken years to produce this work in all its dizzying detail. Hmm, so the motto, what does it say? Below both women, in luminous black letters, Après la vie, mort. Après la mort. La vie de nouveau. Après la vie, mort. Après la mort, la vie de nouveau. Wow. And then along the left Experience. side. Experience. Après le monde, la clé. Après le clé, le monde de nouveau. All right. After life, death. After death, life again. After oh. the world, the pale. After the pale, the world again. This is the great light motif of humanism. A summary of the effect of the okay. discovery of this Isola, the Insulindian, on human thinking. A tremendous sea change akin to finding life after death. So, Lieutenant, this used to say after life, after death, after... Death. Life again. Hmm. After the world, the pale. After the pale, the, the world, world again. again. Hmm. This exaltation is common in Dolorian sacralism. All right. In the early years, it was even incorporated as the RCM slogan. Whoa! No more, however. Why? It was deemed subservient to use a strongly moral intern related motto. We already suspected of boot leaking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a macho thing. So, what is the RCM motto now? Justice, union, prudence, and force. Uh, I like the uh, the other one better. I like this. puts the fear, puts the fear of God back in the. F <laughs> don't say that. So I don't know. It's like uh, the other one was better. Yeah, I like the other one better. Absolutely. So this much is much better. It's much more poetic. Much more, you know, with much more substance to it what is that justice union it's like something about i don't know uh an anime come on so yeah the mother of humanism towers above you a wax painting on a cracked pane of glass nothing has changed in her expression mm, i see that whoa so yeah now what's this right a machine stands in the corner, watched over by the figures on the stained glass window. It's turned on and quivering with soft electricity. What the hell is this sound? What is this? Is this glowing? What the hell? Another radio computer. And this time it's already turned on. Oh, yeah. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Hey. I have the f yes, uh, yes. I have the fucking thing that I can put inside. Yes, but this machine looks like it could be the one in the Doom commercial area. It's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. 
He inspects the machine's framework, carefully not to touch anything. The one you saw earlier was the Ream Civic. This is the Ream Prefect, a model number RC7024, okay. equipped with a Fell mainframe and a Ream compatible interim printer. Whoa. The Ream Prefect is the governmental version of the commonly used Ream Civic model. I hope I can Although use the, most the, based on the same technology. The, thing. the Ream Prefect is equipped with better noise attenuation circuits. Wait, let me just investigate it. You Absolutely. You see the play and print buttons on the keyboard. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. You're free to proceed. Look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says, in black marker, log, February to March. All Another right. filament memory. Press play to talk with the repeater. Absolutely. The speaker comes to life. <laughs> Static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. An old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years old. It's still the... Good afternoon. Oh, it's still the same. This is the East Insulindian Rapid Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? It's the same old woman you spoke yeah. with through the radio computer in the doomed commercial area. Looks inside the core, but the tape on the phone it just said log. Hmm, fortress accident, like the one in the doomed commercial area. Thanks for having finished with the call. Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? Good, thank you. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? I looked inside the core, but the tape on the film it just said log February March. Good. Please repeat the password. Oh. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. A password on really bad a password. Can you give me a hint? No. <laughs> As the always. system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Is it my birthday? Still? No. <laughs> this is the police. Please open this thing. I am contractually obliged to protect Yeah, yeah, you said this already. Accident. Without filing a warrant with Lintel, I cannot give you access to this filament. Okay, okay, okay. I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless we want to wait for a month. Now, can you please repeat the password? I don't know the please. password. I will register this login attempt. Fort okay. West Accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? Let's try this again. I think I may have the right password for the personal log. No, I don't think so. Or resident, like the one in the Doom commercial area? I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. One on Sambrun, the other on Rue de saint Guilain. Okay. That's the church. And Rue de saint Guilain? That's the doomed commercial area. Hmm. Anything else I can help you with? Thanks, but I'm f I'm finished with this call. Goodbye, Fortress Accident. She says, as her voice disappears into a reel of static. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated, revealing fluorescent play and print buttons. If I press print? Nothing happens. All right. So, yeah, maybe I need to find a password for sure. But not for this episode. Now, what we're gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna talk to this Spider Man guy, as I called it. And we're gonna do it in the next episode. So, let's save the game. Absolutely. Just in case. Let's go to the main menu. Every time I exit, there's an autosave. But, you know, better be sure. It's better that I save myself first. So, let me change the camera real quick, and uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. we see you all in the next episode. Absolutely, we're going to see you all in the next episode. This is going to be another great episode, for sure. By the way, every, every time I think to the church here, I think to my pry bar that is gone. For nothing, since I had the key after. But yeah, it's my head, okay? My problem is my head. I need to listen to Kim more. If I listen to Kim, nothing will have happened. But yeah, why don't do like 
I can do it. And yes, that's the reason why I lose my pry bar. So next time, this is like something that helped me learn something. Next time, listen to Kim first. And I hope I can do that. But I don't know. By the way, thanks for watching again. Bye.